good beautiful morning everybody what we got going on today is we're gonna try to melt whatever this is I, I forgot what he called it i think it's where he's squeezing the honey out of it or something uh we <laughs> and y'all can see some of it's already melted but uh anyways what it is like i said i think he was squeezing some of the honey out of it because it smells it just it smells heavenly okay it smells great but um i found out pretty quick like as y'all can tell some of it's already melted um it's a horrible idea to try to do that on a on a eye in the house you know on a kitchen eye in the house that's, that's not a good idea uh very smoky don't recommend it so i'm gonna come outside today i'm gonna build a little fire, and we're gonna try to finish melting some of this and getting some of the wax out of it um don't really know what it's called, but here we go. We're gonna try to melt this and get some beeswax out of it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not.
Well, I guess while we're waiting, I'll give a, I guess I'll give a pack update. Um, which I didn't tell none of y'all this, so, you know, I just, I don't know, I just, I guess some people will just tell you every little detail about their life, but, I don't know, this ain't, either way, let's just get on with it, it's awkward, it's weird, but here's what happened, uh, long story short, when you're maintaining a pack, you can't just be thinking about the individual dog, you gotta think what's best for the pack, and you also gotta think of what you can sustain, or what you think you should sustain, well, what that boils down to is every once in a while, you're gonna get so many dogs, you're gonna have to cull some dogs. Now, there's different ways of culling. Uh, some people will sell them, some people give them away, some people just flat out shoot them, kill them, whatever. But, you know, culling's just gotta happen. And if not, you're gonna quickly outlive your means and all that other stuff. Well, long story short, you gotta think what's better for the pack. And, and y'all, those of y'all that's been watching me for years, y'all seen my pack, y'all know them. Y'all may have got some attachment to them similar to mine. But either way, long story short, old Patch, that big white dog, if, if for those of y'all didn't know his name, uh, he wasn't gonna be part of my future breeding program, and like I said, I just had better stuff coming along, so it was his time for Patch to go. So I ended up uh, giving him to, to somebody. I ain't gonna say no names or nothing. I don't wanna don't want to cause no trouble or anything like that and, I, and I, I don't feel bad what happened at all but i end up giving him to somebody somebody that that's always treated me good and i just i just i just give it to a person that meant a lot to me let's put it that way a lot and they're watching right now more than likely and like i said this ain't nothing hateful i'm just get, telling everybody an update on the dog but anyway, I give him a dog. Like I said, I wasn't eating him no more. I got better stuff coming along, especially with pup training stuff. It's time for time for him to go. And uh, I end up giving him to the person to be a yard dog. Now, growing up, this person has given me countless yard dogs growing up. You know, and I was mighty proud to have them. Some, as far as I know, some of my first dogs. And I mean, just a whole lot of dogs given to me growing up yard dogs whatever you know just different things and uh it was kind of funny growing up everyone's giving me dogs now i'm getting older and i give my calls away giving them dogs you know so it's and i'm mighty grateful to be repaying the favor i really am but either way <clears throat> i give them patch and uh i think patch uh, he's just gonna be a yard dog he wasn't gonna be a hunting dog he's kind of letting him go to pasture you know and i like seeing that happen but uh, he wasn't in pasture very long. I think like two days later he got run over. So, and he didn't make it. You know, just to get be a little more specific. And uh, I mean, I do hate it for the dog, but you know, I wasn't aiding him. I gave him to a good home. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out for him. I mean, I granted he wasn't very road wise. I mean, heck, he's he's a hunting dog. Spent most of his life in a pen, but you know, it is what it is. But at least he went out on his own terms and his own accord. Let's put it that way. It was his decision, his mess up to get up in the road and stuff. But um, either way, it's not it's not as rough as uh, when I lost old Tripper. Just you know, I just wasn't as attached to that dog. But he still did hunt for me for about five years, and uh, he caused a lot of headache and hassle. But still, he still put his time in for me. You know, and I'm still grateful to the dog for that. But you know, it is what it is. It's like I said, this ain't a, this ain't nothing bad against anybody. It's just you know, if when y'all get to watching my future hunting videos, y'all don't see that big old fat, fluffy white dog in the pack no more. Uh, at least you know why. Let's put it that way. So glad I had the dog. Like I said, it did cause me quite a bit of aggravation, but I'm still glad for the time I had with him. He still. I ain't gonna say he pulled his weight, but he still, he was still there and we still walked a lot of miles together and we done a lot of stuff together. But either way, like I said, that's it for old Patch. But I still got plenty more coming up. I've, I've still got some more pups I gotta have, more litters I gotta have to keep on with my breed program that I got. 
Y'all still see me turn these other two dog or two pups I got going on? That uh, little old blue dog and little old later. So we still got to watch him grow. That's that's pack life, people. You're gonna have to bring in new dogs. You're gonna have to train them. You're gonna have to get rid of some of the old ones. You're gonna have to watch some ones you really love and care for die. And that's part of it. I like, guess just pack pack life's just real life, just on a on your own personal scale let's put it that way it's the same thing it's just part of it but either way let's get on back to cooking this beeswax get off this uh get off this depressive stuff <laughs> Alrighty, well there it is. It is in the bottom pretty well. I think I got two options. I'm gonna just try to bang it out. Or I'm gonna try to heat it back up and just enough to loosen the outsides up, then get it out that way. Once again, first time I've ever actually done this, so uh yeah. Y'all have any better stuff, let me know. I'm I always if you have anything to add in there, good or bad, throw it in there. I'll make fun of it either way, but just throw it in there, it don't matter. That's what I thought. Okay, I will do this part in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Come out of there, dang it. Ugh. There we go. There we go. All right. Alrighty, I'm assuming that's beeswax. If I'm wrong, if it's something else, let me know. <laughs> I imagine if he's going to use it in the same container over and over, this wouldn't be that bad of a method. And I may end up just putting it right back in there to be dead honest with you. Um, but regardless, hey, that looks cool. Look at that. We've done something. Oh, y'all know any cool projects to do with it? Let me know.